We often hear about the seven wonders of the ancient world, and we immediately remember the pyramids of Egypt. Unfortunately, human hands join forces with natural forces to destroy all of these wonders except one. Welcome to the Myths and Curiosities channel. Leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss any notifications. The seven wonders of the ancient world prove that man, in ancient times, had all the skill, intelligence, ingenuity, creativity and technique to develop surprising architectural works. The original list of these monuments comes from a work by Philo of Byzantium written in 225 BC called, On the Seven Wonders. 1. The Great Pyramid of Giz Egypt The Great Pyramid, located in Giza on the west bank of the Nile River, north of Cairo, Egypt, is the only wonder of the ancient world that has survived to the present day. It is part of a group of three pyramids, Cheops, Chephron and Mycerinus, that were built between 2700 BC and 2500 BC as royal tombs. The largest and most impressive is Cheops, known as the Great Pyramid, which covers 13 acres and is believed it is said to contain more than 2 million stone blocks weighing from 2 to 30 tons each. For over 4,000 years, the Pyramid of Cheops has reigned as the tallest building in the world. Scientists believe that the Egyptians used wooden rollers and sledges to place the stones in place. The sloping walls, meant to mimic the rays of Are, the sun god, were originally built as steps and then filled with limestone. The interior of the pyramids included narrow corridors and hidden chambers in an unsuccessful attempt to thwart grave robbers. Although modern archaeologists have found some great treasures among the ruins, they believe that most of what the pyramids contained was looted within 250 years of their completion. 2. Hanging Gardens of Babylon The Hanging Gardens were built in Babylon at the behest of King Nebuchadnezzar in the 6th century BC, becoming one of the main architectural works undertaken by the monarch during his reign in Mesopotamia. The work is considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, although there are still no records of its existence in archaeological research. They were composed of about six terraces built as floors, giving the idea of being elevated, or suspended, as the name suggests. The floors had about 120 square meters, supported by giant columns that measured up to 100 meters. Each surface was adorned with botanical gardens that contained numerous fruit trees, sculptures of the gods worshipped by the Akkadians and waterfalls, situated on a rectangular plain. Some ancient documents say that the gardens gave access to the palace of King Nebuchadnezzar, who had it built to satisfy the wishes of his favorite wife Amitiz. She said she missed the fields and forests of her homeland, Media. Its location close to the Euphrates River enabled large river irrigation systems to reach the surface through giant wells in the form of arches that reached 23 meters in height. As stones were very rare in the Babylonian territory, much of the construction of the hanging gardens was supported by bricks, coated with bitumen and lead to keep them dry from irrigated water. 3. The Statue of Zeus Greece The Statue of Zeus at Olympia it was built in the 5th century BC by the Athenian Phidias in honor of the king of the Greek gods, Zeus. It is assumed that the construction of the statue took about eight years. Zeus, Jupiter, for the Romans, was the lord of Olympus, the abode of the deities. The statue measured from 12 to 15 meters high the equivalent of a five-story building and was entirely made of ivory and ebony. His eyes were gemstones. Phidias carved Zeus seated on a throne. In his right hand he carried the statuette of Nike, goddess of victory, on the left, a sphere under which an eagle leaned. It is assumed that, as in depictions by other artists, Phidias Zeus also frowned. Legend said that when Zeus frowned, the whole Olympus trembled. The throne rested on a three-foot-tall black Eleusinian marble plinth, and the sculpture was responsible for overseeing the first Olympic Games. Finally, a shallow reflecting pool was built to keep the surrounding environment more humid. The statue's reflection in the water probably made it look even taller than usual. However, in 379 AD, the Roman Emperor Theodosius I took control of the region. By favoring Christianity, the political and military leader basically demanded that all pagan practices be stopped in their territories. This included the Olympic Games and homage to Greek gods such as Zeus. After 800 years, it was taken to Constantinople, now Istanbul, where it is believed to have been destroyed in 462 AD. C. By an earthquake. 
For Halicarnasso Mausoleum, Turkey, the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus was a gigantic construction made to house the tomb of King Mausolus in Turkey. Mausolus was a provincial king of the Persian Empire who married his sister Artemisia II. The capital of Curia, his kingdom, was Halicarnassus. Mausolus reigned from 370 BC. In 353 BC, throughout his reign, the city of Halicarnassus saw great development in works, the construction of public buildings progressed a lot and an extensive wall was also built to protect the city. When King Mausolus died, his wife and sister soon began the construction of an admirable tomb to house his body. The work took 10 years to complete, the result of the work of approximately 30,000 men. But Queen Artemisia too died earlier and did not even see the mausoleum completed. The building, rectangular in shape, was 50 meters high and was incredibly decorated with bronze sculptures and statues. Occupying an area of more than 1,200 square meters, it was supported by 36 columns and a pyramid of 24 steps was raised above the square base. At the top of the pyramid there was still a marble chariot pulled by four horses, guided by the king and queen. The base of the building was of marble and bronze, coated with gold. Unfortunately, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus also did not survive in its entirety. An earthquake was probably the cause of the destruction of the mausoleum and tomb between the 11th and 15th centuries. The stones left over from the destruction were used by the inhabitants of the time as part of other local constructions. Only one statue, which is probably of King Mausolus, and remains of the building remain to this day. These relics are divided between the British Museum in London and the museum in Bodrum, Turkey. 5. Temple of Artemis, Turkey The Temple of Artemis was a tribute to the Greek goddess of the same name. In the 6th century BC, the conqueror Croesus, then king of Lydia, ordered the construction of a great temple in Ephesus in honor of the goddess Artemis. Work began around 550 BC and took 200 years to complete. Hundreds of virgin priestesses participated in the construction of the temple, these women believed in female superiority and practiced sexual abstinence and magical arts. After 200 years of construction, the result of the work was charming. The Temple of Artemis consisted of 127 Ionic-style marble columns arranged in double rows, all decorated with works of art, each 20 meters high. It was 138 meters long and 71.5 meters wide. The sculpture of the goddess Artemis that was inside it was produced in ebony, gold, silver and black stone, surrounded by bronze sculptures by Praxiteles. The goddess sculpture had a long skirt covered with animal reliefs covering her legs and hips. It was also characterized by the three rows of breasts it possessed, symbolizing its fertility. On his head was an ornament in the form of a pillar. The Temple of Artemis was thus the largest temple in the ancient world. The Temple of Artemis underwent two major destructions. 200 years after its construction, a fire broke out in 356 BC. The building burned down on July 21, 356 BC, according to legend, on the same night Alexander the Great was born. The damage caused took 20 years to repair. But in the 3rd century AD, the Goths invaded the Roman provinces in Asia Minor and the Balkan Peninsula and raised the Temple of Artemis in 262 BC. Currently, what remains of the Temple of Artemis are some sculptures and objects that are on display in the British Museum in London and a single column of the temple, which stood firm after so many earthquakes and looting at the site. 6. Colossus of Rhodes, Greece The Colossus of Rhodes was a huge bronze sculpture of the sun god Helios built by the Rhodians over 12 years in the 3rd century BC. The city was subject to a Macedonian siege in the early 4th century BC and, according to legend, the Rhodians sold the tools and equipment left by the Macedonians to pay the Colossus. Designed by the sculptor chairs, the statue was, at 30 meters, the tallest in the ancient world. It was completed around 280 BC and stood for 60 years until it was toppled in an earthquake but was significant enough to be one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Colossus of Rhodes was never rebuilt. Hundreds of years later, the Arabs invaded Rhodes and sold the remains of the statue for scrap. Because of this, archaeologists don't know much about the exact location of the statue or what it looked like. Most believe it depicted the naked sun god as he lifted a torch in one hand and held a spear in the other. 
The statue was believed to stand with one leg on either side of a harbor, but most scholars now agree that the statue's legs were likely built together to support its immense weight. 7. Lighthouse of Alexandria, Greece The Lighthouse of Alexandria was located on a small island called Pharos, near the city of Alexandria. Designed by Greek architect Sestratos, crafted in marble and mortar, it was completed around 270 BC during the reign of Ptolemy II. The lighthouse helped guide Nile River ships in and out of the city's busy harbor. Archaeologists found ancient coins on which the lighthouse was depicted and from them deduced that the structure had three layers, a square level at the bottom, an octagonal level in the middle, and a cylindrical top. Above this was a 16-foot statue, probably of Ptolemy II or Alexander the Great, for whom the city is named. Although estimates of the lighthouse's height have ranged from 200 to 600 feet, most modern scholars believe it was around 380 feet tall. The lighthouse was gradually destroyed during a series of earthquakes from 956 to 1323. Some of its remains were discovered at the bottom of the Nile. Did you like to know the seven wonders of the ancient world? And if you haven't subscribed yet, enjoy it now, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. See you in the next video.